Boom. Welcome to Mystery Mukbang. I'm Lunatic. I'm Tiara Sorrell. And we are from the, the House of Miss Joachim. So how are you, Tiara? I'm today? hungry AF. I'm AF. Yeah. And you also? <laughs> Just a reminder, reminder for you guys, yes. we will be uploading this series every Thursday. So don't forget to turn on your notification button. Yes. So okay. what are we having in front of us? So oh I ordered... Something something from gepretbibit.sg Oh my god Yes So can you introduce us? Of course, gladly So we have the indomie over here Yeah And then we have the ayam suwir yes. I hope I'm pronouncing it right Which is the shred shredded chicken And then we have the chicken cutlet Which is ayam gepret Gepret And the specialty Of mm -hmm. the nationality mm -hmm. Of this meal mm -hmm. Is the sauces We yeah. have level 1 over here 3 Five and ten. ten. Wow. Yes. From five jump to ten. <laughs> you too. So don't forget to like and share, like and share, like, like and share. share. Yes. You all. Okay. How does the sauces? It's just like uh, if you if you uh, try ayam balado, yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> As in the balado sauce. Oh, no. yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's different level lah. So if you are daring enough, I give you ten. Ten, ah. ten, ten, ten to the boss. <laughs> Cherry tomato. Yeah, <laughs> so just bear in mind, it won't come like this, lah. Obviously, it'll be uh, it'll be in a bento set. So if you guys really want to try, be, uh, it's delicious. Okay, just go and check it out. Yeah, sure, the bread Check it out. Yes. I'm salivating so, already. Okay, shall we dig in now? Can I dig you? Dig in. Thank you. Let's go to our our guest of honor. Yes, queen. Okay, and you and for me. Okay, get to which one want to start first? Can I you take that one first? Lah? You want the chick this chicken? Mm, yeah, can. Later I take crispy you also. I want the shredded one. Mm. Yeah, I know you want this one. Okay. My phone also want to. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. yes. Indomie. But they have their own recipe lah. Selera ku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like this lah, then you take that. Oh, my fave. Look at this. Can I just use this? <laughs> Don't be shy. Don't be shy? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> Oh, no. Hold on. <laughs> oh no, we forgot our eating gloves. It's okay. Holding on. Ta -da! We have our eating gloves on. Yes. And we are gonna dig in. in. Maka maka. Yes. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use my hand. <laughs> this man la. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my god, I'm so I want to try, but I also scared. <laughs> oh, it's a level one, this one is level one. Mm. I hope you guys put it correctly, lah. <laughs> <laughs> Look no. at the size. I dare you to take one spoonful. Oh. <laughs> okay, I try with the chicken. This is it. Which one of you can? I can. I but I scared also. What's your limit? Five? Upon ten. <laughs> <laughs> so like my lap. <laughs> it's like the very spicy one. Like lots of chili paddy, I cannot. Is it really that spicy? I haven't tried. Okay lah. The three one is eh, number one is Kentahan, you can try. Mm. <laughs> Where's the egg? <laughs> it is. It's not spicy dress. Right. It's nice. 
It's so nice. Oh my god. You guys, I think you guys have to wait for us to finish this bowl, then we will continue <laughs> with the story. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> I need to stop it. Okay, let's eat, darling. Oh, cannot talk with my mouth full. Yes. Kill okay, one last bite. Mmm. Mmm. Which it, which it, mama? Mmm. 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 <laughs> So Luna, yes. <laughs> Can you tell me what you will be talking about? Today? Yes. So yes. basically, what we'll be talking about is um somewhere that is close to us, mm -hmm. like somewhere somewhat like we can relate to. This place that I'm talking about is where people held a uh, festive, um held like um, celebrations, mm -hmm. birthday parties, which is the. Chalet. 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 So the chalet that I'm talking about, Hin Hin, is the cheap chalet. Sembawang? No. Like, <laughs> it's, it's in the east side, the Pasir Ris. <laughs> but there's like a lot of uh, chalet, right? Mm. So, but then it's like, the chalet is like, very cheap. It's like, you just need to pay like, I think, $1 or $10. Are you serious? To enter. Oh, uh, is it the one in the swimming pool? They share the one same rectangle swimming pool in the middle. Yeah. You... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah yes. I think that one is the new one. Yeah, that's the new one. Probably. They just revamped it, right? Yeah, they just revamped it. Wow. So, this story that I'm telling is about... Um, Where is it? 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 It's about like this uh, four best friends. Uh, it's about based on a school camp. And before I touch on that, um, Pasir Ris used to be an uh, undeveloped area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, like same like as any other Singapore areas, there's like no, um, what you call it? Um, no, no buildings. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like based, like. Because, Basically land lah. Yeah, it's land mm. uh, with kampongs and village. But bas uh, basically, like, it's filled with a lot of Chinese. So, it's like a Chinese kampong. Yeah. So, um, this story uh, I picked on is because it's something that I can relate to. Uh, it's based on a school camp experience of four best friends. And um, so, here is how the story begins. -na -na -na. -na -na -na. Ow. So... Ten ten ten. You know, as uh, we always look forward to camps, uh, such as primary five camps and all, mm -hmm. and you know that these kind of things that will make uh, your experience much memorable when you get into your adulthood. Sure. So. Uh, the teachers actually organize um, the camp uh, with like activities such as like you know outdoor activities going to wow wow together and one of those that is highlighted is actually um, ghost storytelling which they had to share at night so that's the school activity yeah like um, actually like basically like they just provide this kind of um, curriculum mm. <laughs> you say that yeah to I just it's a school activity it's a school activity <laughs> yes, and and the teachers were very sporting about that. Like, they were like really, um, not um have the limits of like oh like schools have to be this way, and outside have to be so this way. They like, encourage it's, like. Yeah, they encourage. They really mm. divide by two. <sighs> Hungry. Yours. I feel like I want to try the level ten. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This one is here. Wow, so daring. This is a bit. Wow, 
I'm a happy man. Happy man? I really enjoy eating noodles with my hands. Mm -mm. Malay style. As a... I take out like my, like my phone. <laughs> Oh, the level 10. It's nice. So nice. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, honey. my nephew was water. Oh, my God. Ah, so cute. Yeah. Okay. So, um, as I said, like. Eat, eat your veggie. No, no thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, that's intolerant. Fever. <laughs> oh my god, the level 10 is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. So, as I said, like. There were four best friends, um, which is Zachary, David, Raj, and Rizal. Okay, so these four best friends has always been together ever since they were schooling and you know how they go through things. Yeah, I never had best friends before. But... <laughs> no, 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 no. Wrong wrong. The way that it started was... Uh, like I said, like it was a school camp, and then um they had to tell their ghost story um telling <coughs> to everyone, and three of them knew the three three out of the four actually knew Zachary um is actually very scared of all these unseen things. Mm -hmm. Okay, a creatures. Yes. Creatures. Oh I got God. shocked myself. <laughs> <laughs> when they knew that his kind of character is that way, they mm. tend to make it more like, oh, we're gonna scare you. So the next day after their ghost storytelling, they discuss among themselves they wanted to actually... Uh, use this um, what you call that um, the bed sheet uh -huh. you know yeah. like to wrap around and just be hantu bungkus or it can be known as pochong oh. yes so hantu bungkus is basically someone um, that is dressed in white cloth mm -hmm. wrapped around the body there's a knot on top and it can even roll 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 roll, roll, roll. <laughs> You can either roll on the floor and going towards you or they could just jump and hop like from like 100 meter to I like, heard they are like very fast, right? Yeah, they can finish my 2.4 kilometer. <laughs> Is she gonna jump <laughs> They can just like literally be, what do you call this? Horizontally? Like floating in the air. Oh, Horizontally like... Ah, yeah, like parallel to the ground. Yeah, parallel to the ground. So they'll be... They can do that. Floating? Hmm, talking about them, I'm feeling hungry <laughs> lah, mate. <laughs> can not... Talking about floating. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Ah, no, thank you. No, thank I'm you, like nurse. I'm like I'm having allergy. <laughs> Oh my god, you should try at least the tree, please. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't wanna watch me. Yeah. <laughs> I love to watch people suffer a bit. In the way, it's just my favorite thing in the whole world. It's like is it better or is it like as usual? I think the Indomie is like improvised. You know it's nicer than like home cooked Indomie? Yeah. It's like people cook for you the Indomie. <laughs> yeah. Trueness. It's always nice. Are you sure this is one? That's one, that's no spice at all. Maybe we have been eating it for... You should try number... I think this is number one. We should try this. Mm. Number three is what? Number one? Just, just not adding into number three, but... Number one tastes spicier. Mm. 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 Mm.
Can I get an eggplant? <laughs> yes, <laughs> honey. <laughs> Can I get an eggplant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah. Mm -mm. I would recommend the shredded chicken. It's so good. Mm, it's so good. You guys should try this out. I want the GD. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can try the veggies. <laughs> it's fresh. It's really fresh. It's not lying. It's really fresh. Uh. Mm -hmm. The tomato is nice. Try it. Sorry, guys, I'm allergic to vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god, it's so spicy. Number five. Lives. <laughs> yeah. They try to trick Zachary and so they wanna use this white bed sheet that mm -hmm. could be seen as um, the white cloth. Um, so there was um the, the the discussion they had was that uh, he had to enter the room past 10 minutes past midnight okay he that is 12 10 a.m as they try to trick zachary into like um hey uh let's sleep early or like hey let's get into the room and we play some games together so that he needs to be there to mm -hmm. actually witness this right yeah. so um they were playing games with him it's really hot it's really <laughs> spicy <laughs> 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 so um, 10 minutes past midnight So they were They were playing the games Together with him So someone entered the room uh, The one that is supposed to enter the room Is James uh -huh. Did I say James or David? James right James supposed to enter the room So Enter the room 10 minutes past midnight And then When he entered They look at the time And it was 5 minutes Before 12 so he is 15 minutes early. Mm -hmm. Get it? So it's like that because the discussion that they had was you have to be on time so that we know that it's you. You get what I mean? So like because it's during that midnight period and mm -hmm. it's quite what you call that? It's quite spooky for, for you not to be on time and while playing this kind of tricks mm -hmm. to your friend. So when when he entered the room they were like so happy to see Zachary like suffering at the side because he's considered like having a trauma, like you know, like feeling uh, like it's shivering. Yeah. yeah. So they were like, oh my god, like boys being boys, they don't even care if he's gonna die there. Oh <laughs> so when uh, that happened, um, David went on with his tricks in the bed sheet, being right in the bed sheet. It went to the extreme when even when the moonlight actually shined on David's face, it wasn't David. Who who could it be? Yeah. So they thought like he pulled this kind of trick by himself. Oh my god! Can we not do that? We go spouse. Oh my god! Makan. Wait. <laughs> like the chicken is amazingly like very nice. Like it's still crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. No, it's honey. Mm.
So if you guys have any food recommendations of what we should eat, you guys can put whatever you want to torture us. Put what? Ghost pepper? Yes. <laughs> Why did I just say that? <laughs> Mala? Mala hot pot? Yes. Go ahead. Like, just comment down. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Make us suffer and you'll feel satisfied watching us I here. I love it. So they were like wondering, what did James enter 15 minutes early and then his act was like this when it wasn't supposed to be, it was like getting too serious. Suddenly, the next Hantu Bukus came in and they hear it properly that it was James Foy struggling in that rap bitch shit. Oh, <laughs> it was like David, David, now it's James. Okay. It's the, I, I remember the last one you said is David. Yeah, I say James. Yeah. <laughs> the name is David James then. <laughs> <laughs> David James Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> so basically one of the one of the four had to be the ghost la. David. Yes. Yeah, like, I think it's David. 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 So um basically they, they yeah. could hey. ah. I can never say again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, they uh, they heard James' voice through the David. <laughs> <laughs> to them, it's like, like this is David. Like, you were his wife. I was expecting James. Then, like, oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> David. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like It's David now Like This is the real David That we know And That is his face When the moonlight Shine onto his face You know So They knew that They f*** up shit Darling oh So I was like I'll be Shitting in my pants And apparently Like one of them <laughs> Shat in their pants Are you Like serious? literally <laughs> Like shat in his Ew. pants Yes You are eating <laughs> that okay, so but The fact that You are expecting your parents but now you have two of the same yeah so mm-hmm. how like I mean we can only depend on their faces or whether yeah. they are touching the ground or whatever yeah. but then you knew at that point of time like mm. there's nothing you can do when the thing appears to actually like reveal, reveal yourself <laughs> <laughs> I think the first one is a lip sync assassin <laughs> yes I think <laughs> <laughs> they were battling honey <laughs> they were battling <laughs> So uh, one of them shat in their <laughs> pants literally. So all of them knew they already f***ed up big time and all of them ran out of the room. Like ran out of the room. So they were outside and they were panicking like crazily. And then like they turned back. There isn't any spirit honey. There's no one. Like literally no one was there. So what about David? He ran together with them. So yeah, he knew. Like he, he just don't know what's going on because their faces are all like. But did he see the? No, he did not. Because why would he? He couldn't see because the thing I think like you know that like, just like disappear. Like, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out, out darling. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Fight. So when they ran. <laughs> <laughs> when they ran out. They ran out faster than Benji Elimination, darling. <laughs> like, them fires, okay? <laughs> so what happened to the boys? Are they safe? Um, so the boys um, went to consult the teacher about mm. this kind of thing. And the teacher knew that it's due to the fact that they actually had this kind of activity of ghost storytelling. Mm. That actually sparked up the whole entire... Uh, scene that happened ever since that day they knew that this is one of the ways to actually invite the spirits mm. to to appear like doing this ghost story sharing yeah. session or whatever because you know as you tell your ghost story things around scene, yeah, mm. like what we are doing now they, they could, <laughs> they could be, be someone, even like someone, someone in between yeah, our yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like like, they could hear us, they could <clears throat> see what we are doing. Yeah. So, it's like, actually kind of a target for them to 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 appear and to show themselves. 
Uh, so, but what you need to know that you should tell, I do not disturb you, you do not disturb me. Yes, okay? Queen. Yes. Okay, and to link you to the next story, we're going to eat first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Wait, do you need your mayonnaise? <laughs> Three. Yes. Number? Three. Three. Five lah. Three. Okay. Ah, you heard that. <laughs> Have you tried the five? Hmm? Have you tried the five? No. Try and try now. Okay, I try with um the egg instead. Can you try Why is them? everywhere? <laughs> Why is almost the egg and the pea? Sorry. Oh, I love oh. this song. Oh my god. You can do this, Luna. <laughs> not that spicy, right? No, not really. <laughs> I read. I read. Uh, I read the. It's, the it's the same thing. Mm. <laughs> I think it's very spicy, guys. I cannot find the fire. Yeah, my weight is lifting. <laughs> Every time I choose, like, you know, you know, you know. The body of the episode is down there already. So you guys can hear the sound of the chicken. Quack, quack, quack. It's very crispy. Can you feed me a little? Yeah. yeah. What number you want? I close my eyes like you, you do for me. Okay. Not that much lah. <laughs> hey, you close your eyes, man. Sorry, sorry. Close your eyes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god, look at the tree. Oh, oh my god. How do you feel? What's the combination like? It's 15. <laughs> yes, it's not. That's my throat. Need more water. <laughs> You're pulling your eyes out, honey. It's spicy. Okay, my turn. Oh my god, guys, it's really spicy. Mm. Yeah, it is. I think you just cannot eat that ten lah. After this, dude, it's really spicy. Okay. <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Yeah. So this story consists of three friends, Ahmad, Hakim, and Hazik. Okay. Okay. So Ahmad. Usually, like, spend time with his family, um, going to parks, to exercise. It's a form of uh, good quality time. Um, that is how he spent with his family. Like, you know, skating, cycling, um, like, exploring the parks. So, their, their home is nearby, like, downtown is. Okay. okay. So, where they are at is actually the, the Pasir Ries Park. Okay. So, they have to go through... This main bridge, okay, this main bridge that leads out near to the e hub, so it as it at e hub near area, yeah. Okay. Stop in my lay So it's near the chalet also. Uh yes, it's near the chalet also. So it leads out that side. So, um, when they were their family were walking past this bridge, Ahmad actually saw like this. Uh, Berai Tower It's also known as uh, The Suicide, Suicide Tower. Tower So 
he asked like, oh my god, like it's so interesting. Like you know, you are as a kid, you get curious, you want to see the suicide tower. So the parents said like, no Ahmad, like uh, we need to go home. It's already near. Maghrib. Yeah, my grave. So you're not supposed to like be out during that time. So you need to go home as soon as possible. So he make up in his mind to actually like you know like he's gonna come here again one day. Uh, he actually like went up to his mom personally. So his mom tell him the truth of what happened to the tower. So what happened was actually like there have been like a lot of sightings um, and also like a lot of stories about uh, people going for ghost hunting. Uh, people try to chill there to like smoke, lay out with friends and everyone get disturbed down there. Like so they don't know what's the the base. Yeah. The history. This place uh, he didn't know. Yeah, but he was just curious to go. Yeah, he was just very curious to go to the tower. So I think it's more of like, you know, the inv- invite of like yeah, that thing. Like something is like calling, calling him. him. Yeah. Yes, correct. So he said to his friends, two other friends, which is Hazik and Hakim, about the tower and said that, hey, like, I know a tower that is haunted. So the friends don't believe. Like back then, like no one wants to believe in this kind mm. of thing. So he brought them along. Actually, he brought them along. He said, "Okay, you like you guys follow me to the tower. I'll show you guys like the tower lah. But I don't know if the thing is gonna be there, mm. which I don't think they are prepared for. Mm. So they can actually climb up the story, right? The the tower story. But apparently, like it's only Ahmad." Is the only one who actually climb up the tower because their friends don't dare to actually go up together with him, which is quite bastard lah. Quite bastard, <laughs> honestly. So the friends just patiently wait for him downstairs. Like they don't even know like what Ahmad is trying to do or anything. So if you as a friend, if you don't know, you literally like either you stop him or just like okay, you just go ahead. Like we're just gonna be here, you know. So he went up alone, and few minutes after. Like few minutes after, he jumped down from the tower. Oh my god! Yeah, he jumped down from the tower, and he. Two of their friends got shocked. Like, how it happened? So right before he, I wouldn't say took his last breath, but then, it's more of like him surviving in that point of time. They actually asked him like, who, like what happened? Why did you jump down? You know. He didn't die on the spot. He did not. So he was still surviving. Mm-hmm. So the his last words was, "Somebody pushed me down." Mm-hmm. And so the two of them looked up. They saw no one. Like no one was there. <laughs> yeah. So while he was on the way to the hospital, he actually died. Rest in peace to Ahmad. Yeah. So he died on the way to the hospital. So from my research, I found out that before Ahmad actually jumped down, there was somebody else who actually committed suicide at the tower. So there are cases of things living there and at the tree beside it. So it's actually a tree beside the tower. It's a very big tree. Until today, that there is no soft cases of what happened to those two. Yeah, so it's unnatural. Yeah. It's in peace. Yes. Simplicity. Ten, ten, ten. All right, that wraps yes. up our mystery mukbang for today. So don't forget to like, like comment, comment, share, subscribe, and, and turn on, on your notification, notification button. button. Remember. Don't look into the mirror at 3 14 a.m. Good night. <laughs>